quick Sunday morning flex for you guys. It's day <clears throat> 105. It's 6 a.m. Not 6 a.m. It's actually like 7 a.m. on Saturday. So I just woke up. Obviously, I look rough. I got a lot of sleep. I got like nine hours of sleep. It was amazing. It's actually so nice outside. So I am going to head out on a walk. I got to hop in a meeting in a little bit here. And then I'm going to hit my workout. So we're doing back today. I need a bigger back. Like I need bigger traps. I need a bigger, I need to work on my neck as well. So those are going to be the main points of focus. Obviously back, pull, heavy rows, shrugs, things like that. See, this is why I wake up at 5 a.m. is because the day is going by so fast. It's already 9.30 right now. I should be in my workout, but I needed to upload yesterday's video. So I made the title, all that shit. Took a little bit longer than I wanted. And my, my, I went on a longer walk than I was going to. So right now I'm at about 40, actually 3,800 steps, something like that. It's about 4K steps. My goal today, I want to hit 15K. So, oh shit, I spilled. Yeah, right now, cooking up some pre-workout. I'm actually going to go get some coffee, get some iced coffee, drink that shit, and then drink the pre-workout as well. So, maybe I'll come back and do that. I'm kind of out of it right now. I need something to kind of wake me up. It was a good walk. It was beautiful, but it is 52 degrees outside. So I was freezing my nuts off. I had to like walk around like this, my hands in my pockets. It's cold. This is that North Dakota fall weather for you. It looks nice outside, but it's cold as hell. Um, not cold as hell, 50, 50 is not, like I like cool weather, but it's a nice fall here. Only thing is, it means it's winter's coming and winter is hell. Winter is negative fucking 40. So hopefully I can go to Thailand before that shit hits. All right, didn't go as planned. I'm going to work out right now, but it is noon. It's not 10. I was planning on working out at 10. Two hours later, I'm heading down there. Meeting ran really long and uh, I'm glad it did. Like it was beneficial, so. I'm not going to hit just back. I'm going to hit shoulders as well um, because I just need my shoulders to grow, rear delts, all that stuff. So I'm going to head down there. Pre-workouts basically gone and it's going to be a good workout. I'm going to get a good back pump and shoulder pump too. Phone and headphones are getting left here. So I'm going to grab the keys. Let's get this workout done. All right. Did a little bit of pre-exhaustion with some lateral raises. Now we're gonna do heavy overhead press, 55s. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna do two sets of that. And then I'm gonna do some barbell overhead press. After I do, I'm gonna like switch it up a little bit. I wanna do two of these, and I'm gonna do some lateral raises. Then I'm gonna do some lat pull downs or some stuff for my back. 
then I'll decide from there. All right. Second set, same weight. See what I can do. Burnout. Ah. 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 Go. Feels good. All right, I already did one set of pull-ups, but I didn't film it, so I'm just really trying to get my chest up, touch my chest right here, get a good lat workout. First set burnt me out. I don't even know how many that was. I was having to push, just do some negatives, which is just as good. All right. Okay, wait, I'm gonna up the weight. Okay, wait. No, it's too light. Let's go. I need the straight bar. Somebody stole it. The tarp is off. I'm free. Shit, I'll sit down. heavy weights for a lot of races.
Yeah, that felt good. <sighs> Shit. Get this camera to stay up. Some folks. That's pretty good. I'm honestly going for more of like just volume nowadays than obviously intense, but volume over heavy weight is kind of my main focus right now. So I got the straight bar, dumb, dumbbell, um, not dumbbell, barbell. <sighs> See, my head, I'm lightheaded loaded up with 25s pretty light but I'm just gonna do rows just really feel it so kind of a more upper back row rather than like like a, a low heavy row eventually I want to start going heavy again but right now I don't really need to um, especially for like this kind of these next couple of days I'm gonna be like cutting down calories a little bit because I'm going to Miami and I got to get shredded so I like to fluctuate my calories. Like I don't, I don't like staying at like a steady calorie, like base of like 3000 calories a day. No, I like to put it through the week. Like some days I'll have that shit up like 4,000 calories every day for a couple days. And then the next like couple days, they'll go down to like 2000 calories a day. I like to fluctuate it and be my, let my metabolism adapt to it so it's not just stagnant and doesn't get used to one type of eating. And that's the way I think that's best to live because you're not like, if I'm traveling and shit, I'm not gonna be able to eat good food. I'm gonna wanna wait and wait till I get to a good grocery store or some shit like that and maybe I don't have protein to get in and that's gonna be fine because I wanna be flexible. Uh, I want to be able to adapt to those situations. Um, and another thing, what I, I had one more thing. Every night, like that's so stupid how like people think like when midnight hits and it's the next day, your calorie count resets. No, it fucking doesn't. Like that's not how your, like your body doesn't have a timer in it. Like your body doesn't know anything about time. Like it has no knowledge of time at all. That's not a good way of explaining it but like you should I think you should look at the week of like how big your calorie count is on the week not day to day day to day is like helpful for some people um, but I think it's you get thinking too much just lift the weight just eat the food just walk the steps and you'll be fine so I'm gonna do some rows really quick and some more shrugs and then I'm gonna call it I hear a bunch of fucking kids yelling. I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna go mog them. Damn it. 
keep dropping my keys. I usually put it on my phone, but my phone is not with us anymore. I'm gonna do shrugs, then I'm gonna do some barbell overhead press and then be done. All right, it was a good workout. Got it done. Now let's see what we got. Oh, my shoulders, shoulders looking nice. A little bit of forearms too at the end, but I wanted to get the shrugs in, but started getting a pump in my forearms and I was like, oh, I should probably do forearms too. So that's what I did. And back. No idea how that looks. Looks pretty decent from what I can see, but I can't really look behind me. So we'll find out when I rewatch the video. Let me just change that. I'm gonna have some eggs, eggs of life, some fair life milk, of course, and then maybe a steak. Definitely a steak, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm also going to add an avocado into here, but um, I got a couple steaks. Don't know what to do with them. Well, I do know what to do with them. I know I got to eat them. So, cube steak on the menu, pound of ground beef later today. And uh, we're going to be dialed in and shredded for Miami in uh, four days. Let's get it. All right. We got breakfast cooked up. We got four eggs under there, we got an avocado, and then we got a little slice of cubed steak. I don't know what it's called, but it's this right here. I didn't cook the second one. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it. I might eat it. Well, I'm obviously gonna eat it at some point, but I don't know if I'm gonna eat it this morning. Might save it, and then fair life milk as well. So I'm gonna chow down on this. It's kind of like a, not breakfast, it's kind of like a lunch because it's 1.40 in the afternoon. I haven't eaten yet, so. I'm gonna have some fruit as well. So it's gonna be a big meal, good meal. Put all that hard work to work in my body so I can recover my muscles and uh, get shredded and huge. I'm not sure what I last filmed, but I haven't filmed very much. It's evening time. It's actually 7.30 right now. Just cooked me up a cube steak and then a petite sirloin. And then obviously we got the Fairlife milk. So I'm gonna eat this up, go on a walk really quick. And I only have one jug of Fairlife right now. So I got two days left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm planning on walking to the grocery store right now real quick and getting another jug. I'm just gonna walk back just to get my steps in and I'll get another jug of Fairlife. Cause I don't know if I can go a day without it. But, let's see the cook of these. I know this one's gonna be fucking well done, but the sirloin, I'm not even sure. Yeah, Maybe perfect. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's actually perfect. 
Sirloin's perfect. Now let's check the cube steak. I hate cube steak. I don't like cube steak. And I got a bunch of it. So I'm not gonna buy from that lady again just because, so what I did is I bought, I have my freezer, it's full of meat, or it was full of meat. Now there's not much meat in the left, but I got organic, like 100%, like literally the, they just killed, killed the cow probably two weeks before I bought it. So it was a living cow eating grass out in the field two weeks before I was eating it and it was in my mouth, which is amazing. Um, no, at, like steroids with the cows, no fucking, like they go out in the field and eat grass. They don't have fucking like feed. It was grass fed, all that, like completely like as, as close to a cow in nature that you could probably get. And so it was good meat. It was like kind of the best meat you could really get. But she gave me a lot of these cube steaks and like they're tenderized, which I don't like tenderized meat. Like maybe they're good on some stuff. I just don't know how to cook them. Just tastes like a shitty steak. And it's like super hard to not overcook it because it's fucking like a quarter inch thin. Super chewy. I'm gonna eat this. Sirloin is gonna be good. I'm gonna drink that milk. I'm editing my video right now too. I'm gonna show you guys what I got so far. Cause you guys will see it, but this is it. It's not done, but pretty soon here it'll be done. It's taking me a minute because I had to take every single thumbnail not every single thumbnail, I'm not taking every single one, but a lot of the thumbnails from pretty much every video. And then I'm gonna have to do a bit more editing so you guys can see how many pictures it is. Like, it's a lot of fucking pictures I have to go back to back. And I had to download, it's not like I had them on my computer, I had to go and download them. So, it was a process. But we're getting it done, I'm gonna have a new intro. I don't even have an intro right now, so it's gonna be super new. And yeah, hopefully it's good. All right, I have no idea how many steps I got because my phone died. The new iPhone 16 coming out. And so that means all the phones are slowing down. I got a 13 Pro. These are the supplements taken tonight, fish oil, some magnesium, cortisol blocker, other stuff. melatonin and shit. I don't know if it has melatonin in it or not, but it's kind of like a sleeping pill. I don't know. It's just like all around, like just got like, it's, I don't I honestly think I got the one that doesn't have um, melatonin in it because I don't want melatonin. Um, I wanted to get off melatonin. I was like stuck on having 10 milligrams of melatonin every day, but you can also see my face is pretty red because I did microneedling. So, nightly routine done. I'm gonna head into bed right now. Um, I'll catch you guys in day 206. Let's get it. Peace.